back everybody. Um, FNS Bushcraft back out again. Um, carry on with the Gypsy Bender shelter. Not going to have a lengthy intro. We're just going to crack on. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. You're just shying away from your knot tying, aren't you? No. I can remember. I can remember my one knot. Your one knot. Yeah. Oh, sorry, two. That's all you need. You don't need a full catalogue of knots. You really don't. It's a lot of bullshit. Anybody that tells you you need 50 knots, they're talking shit out of their ass. Seriously. Talking utter crap. Not necessary. You just need to understand a starting knot and a finishing knot. And then the in between, which is the lash, which isn't really a knot at all. Right? That's all you need. What's that? Four maybe five knots maximum that's all you'll ever need ever I swear I'm getting arthritis cold. No, it's not. My hands are really nice and warm after being in my gloves. So we literally just got here and stopped, haven't we? Yeah. It's just really, really, really stiff at the, uh, you know, the, like the thumb knuckle. Yeah. That one and that one. It's, it's like when I try to grip things, it's like I can barely feel it. It's like as if it's not happening. It's weird. I'm going to put a stop knot on that just in case because of the tension. I don't want it undoing. It's going to be under a lot of tension, this, from these bending under it and pushing up. Yeah. Right, that's that one. Don't worry, mate. Don't worry about anything too fancy. Oh, it's a nipply one today, son. What are you saying? Your bone might have one. Nice one, mate. To us in the UK, that's bloody freezing. And yes, Russ, if you're watching. After having lost them, this is just for Russ's sake. Gloves. Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> Not really long enough. Imagine what it would be like in, say, Norway, where you're like, minus 10, 15, 15 20, yeah, <laughs> imagine that, you know, having to try and build something like this, and, and it's things that people don't even factor in, you know what I mean, um, having to do this in cold temperatures makes it 10, 10 times harder, all it takes is one cold numb finger and it knackers up your whole ability to be able to tie or do anything and it does crack it so there right in front of your bottle yeah I might have to use this bundle of shoelace for this next bit try to sew uh, had a big sort out at home loads of racking systems and stuff put in uh, just to give some organization to our tools at home Came across loads of bits of cordage because last time we had to finish early because we had a shortage of cordage, didn't we? Yeah. Right, can you just chuck me the knife there, mate? Right next to you. Can you really whistling up with Barcelona today. Whew. Right. Yeah. Really bad throw, are you? yeah, 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 no, no, you have. And you know why? Because that is currently bending it like that. I have to take all them out and redo it. No, 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 they're going to get bent under that top one. Once that happens, that'll then put that kind of bend in. I'm about to snap that. Matt, we'll see what happens. This is all the learning curve. You know? It is the learning curve of the build. We'll see. I mean, you know, we're not going to use hazel, so that's bendier, I think. Just depends what you've used. Oh, I see. Coming in for a close-up. Mm. Again, it's just the over and under, over and under, lashing style. Same thing, it's just cross lashing, or square lashing rather, is the accurate word. A bit too much there. I really don't get it because the past two times that we've we've come, yeah, the first time it was a blizzard, <laughs> yeah, and it was apparently colder than it was today. Yet my face feels number number yeah. today than it has for both previous trips. Yep, I'm struggling to talk, and my face feels absolutely frozen. We'll get a brew on shortly, so we've got some hot liquid in this. Gotta always try and remember while you're working to not get too hot and sweaty because you stood around more perhaps doing, especially a job like this. And you know, obviously if you're cutting wood or whatever, you're gonna build up that heat from the physical activity. So you have got to bear in mind, bushcraft is not simple. 
very complicated. Survival out in the elements has a lot of complicated elements to it. You've got to constantly be thinking about your layers, thinking about the temperatures, thinking about the activity you're doing, whether that's going to generate a lot of heat, changing out your layers, mid layers, bottom layers, top layers, all that. Uh, Right, I think that's what we were aiming for today. Yeah, we need another we need another one round here, don't we? Yeah. Taking more and more shape, isn't it? Yeah. Dead finitely. Yeah, got some very, very thin ones on this side, so I'm a bit dubious as to whether they're going to hold up, but we'll have to see. We might have to take these thin ones out and put stronger, thicker ones in, but yeah, yeah. tied well. It's already got a snap in yeah, it, yeah. yeah I know. We'll just have to see, like I say, as we go along, what happens, you know. Right, next hate bit. cold. Next bit is bending those that we've put in underneath that top bar we've now put on. We didn't have enough cordage to do that last time. Around here. Apologise for the quality, it's the rear car or the facing camera, so it's shite. Beep, 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 beep. That's really exclusive. <laughs> right, uh, that's right. Let's just struggle and get on there. Again. myself in the face.
it might work, it might not, I might need to make one bigger, but best laid plans and all that, yeah, it needs to be bigger. I'm play hoop while with it. Try and get it on my head. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I always was good at the fair. <laughs> yeah. Go through a lot of goldfish. You fucking clown. <laughs> Time to get a brew on.
yet again was snookered by light so this is why I wish we could get out a bit earlier but it just doesn't ever seem to go that way if we actually got ourselves organized and got out a bit earlier we would have a lot longer um, to gather resources um, so next time when we come out maybe we need to do a second trip come out and just resource collect so that we've got a pile so that when we do then come again we can then just get on and weave because there's a lot of that to go on <laughs> well that's pretty much all the tying done now isn't it so pretty much we've got two pieces left to do on the top i'll probably either finish that today or do that next time it's not crucial right now at the moment it's just basically to hold those top bits that get up to the top that may poke out the top so that if we do throw a tarp over it we're not going to pokies i'm just trying to hold that back with, with these two these pieces right at the top <laughs> with these these sort of bits just trying to use them to hold some in yep um, now what I'm thinking is a bar across and a bar across and a bar across just to close that top half in right yeah just so you have got kind of door hole and you've got coverage above we're not bothering with the archway thing yeah you can do that as well but you still need the top cupboard. Right. And then we can then do arch. We need some sticks coming out to connect the two arches that we create. If you want to do igloo style, which is an add-on. Don't think it was uh, original, but... No, it's, we're, we're just planning on adding some It's a bit of a twist. Original. Huh? A bit of a take on that idea and adapt it for kind of what, what we want it to look like. Make it more uniquely ours. Um, so yeah, again, snookered by time, but so is the way. We'll get sorted. Oh yeah, we had the brew by the way. <laughs> I think that would work, yeah. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments.
Bin gut. Okay guys, this has been FNS Bushcraft, hope you enjoyed the video, uh, the next video will be coming soon, um, please leave a like, click the notification bell, and if you if you want, please subscribe, please support us, um, and in the description there will be a link to Patreon and our other YouTube channel, FNS Paranormal, if you're interested in that, please go check that out. So this has been FNS Bushcraft, thank you very Signing much. Signing off. <laughs> See you later. See you next time. Bye-bye.